Welcome to this joint conversation between me, Kate MacDonald, Handheld Press, and Lucinda Gosling of the Mary Evans Picture Library. We're going to be talking about book covers because a lawful lot of the Handheld Press book covers come from Mary Evans. Right, slightly more serious. Um, a little later last year, we published another Rose Macaulay, Non Competence and Others, yeah. um, which is a novel. Non-Competence and Others, 1916, about pacifism in the war, and then all her 30s and 40s anti-war writing, of which there was a lot, because it's she was a columnist for various magazines, like The Spectator, New Statesman, The Listener. And then in the war itself, she wrote a short story, which was a kind of processing what happened when her flat got bombed and she lost everything she owned, down to the letters um from her lover who was at that moment dying of cancer um oh. it's a devastating story so this book i put together because i wanted to showcase her anti-war writing because she was a pretty fervent pacifist and i cannot now remember what how we found this image but it's difficult to look for pacifism as a keyword it's a hard it, one to search for it is i i can't remember do you know if you found it or i found it or or you know i, I can't um, remember that either. i i re i suspect you did because honestly it was a huge surprise to me when i saw it um maybe i, I think i might have done i, I mean yeah. we have um as well as you know a, a lots of runs of british periodicals at the library we've also got quite a number of french german spanish and uh, mm -hmm. on some other countries um, Mary and Hillary, who founded the library, were collecting, you know, I suppose from the late 50s onwards, the library mm. started in 1964. And I, I think it's really incredible that they were finding these things and keeping them and preserving them. So this cartoon comes from a German satirical magazine mm. called Simplicissimus uh, by an artist called Olaf Goldbranson, who I, I have to admit I don't know very much about, but it's from 1917. And um, I give talks quite a lot, and I've, I've written on First World War cartoons, British ones, uh, but what I do in my talks is I will show a selection of European cartoonists as well, because the style really, really contrasts with British mm -hmm. cartoonists. I'm not yeah. saying one is better than another, it's just very interesting to look it's at it. It's a different cultural, cultural Com niche, Completely, yeah. and mm -hmm. the, the um, German, particularly the French ones, much more savage, bold, mm -hmm. filling up the page, um, sometimes you know giving readers quite unsettling imagery which is mm -hmm. sort of what you've got with this picture isn't it with those walls it is. yeah it um, is it's quite chilling yeah yeah and, 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 but it's also the the beautiful metaphor of you've got the peace angel perched yeah. on a very precarious and quite low tree surrounded by the walls of war and it says everything you need to know about the state of pacifism yeah and the need for peace at that point in the war yeah um it's brilliant absolutely brilliant and the colors are beautiful as well the very very pale aquamarine instead of white which is yeah it, it's just a, a gorgeous image and it punches it yeah. gets the hit that's needed for this book yeah well, you know and it's from 1917 so it's almost it, date wise it's contemporary absolutely yeah. contemporary yeah and i what and i really like the fact that it doesn't have any figures of military in there there are no soldiers um so you're not attacking the soldiers who are out there dying you yeah. are attacking war itself the people yeah. who engender and make war happen rather yeah. than it's, it's very conceptual isn't it but it is yeah it, it works but, extremely well yes so that that's mm. a very good one 